In the world of knives, there are a ton of different handle materials. But in this video, there's a new composite I wanna talk about, and that's SureTouch. So in this video, I wanna talk about what a exactly SureTouch is, what kind of knives you might see it used on, its advantages, and a couple of disadvantages. So to explain SureTouch, I have to explain two other handle materials first, and that is G10 and rubber. So let's start with G10. I would consider G10 basically the gold standard as far as knife handle materials. It's basically a plastic, but really, really elevated. It's one of the most durable materials you can use. It's in that same tier as micarta, where if anyone uses their knives for really hard use stuff, G10 is gonna be one of their top two or three options in almost every case. And it can be a really beautiful material too. It doesn't have all the natural variations because it is an artificially made material. But what you can do is buy layered G10 where you have two colors or three or more. And when you sand it and get the contours of the handle materials, all of those shine through. The most common you see is black and another color, but it can be a lot of different variations. So now when it comes to rubber, typically if it's pure rubber, you'll see this on really cheap knives, but there are a couple of high-end models that do use it. The real advantage to rubber and why a lot of people do actually really like it as a handle material is that even when it's wet or if you're hunting or fishing and there's blood on it, it still is really grippy. Like it's really not a hard material to grab a hold of. And because rubber actually has some give to it because it has some softness, it actually is pretty good at not creating hot spots. When you have a hard plastic or a wood, if there's an uncomfortable spot on the knife, just the way the handle is contoured, that will often rub just a spot on your hand and become really uncomfortable. But rubber does have some disadvantages. There's a reason you typically only see it on more budget knives. And that reason is honestly just the longevity of it. It just doesn't hold up forever because it is softer, it will wear down with use, and it will either start to basically, I don't wanna say decay, but basically get where parts of it will wear off. So you don't wanna spend hundreds of dollars on a really high-end knife with a rubber handle just because that rubber won't last. So it's very practical, it's just not flashy. Like I said, typically more limited to budget knives. So this is where SureTouch comes in. You know how earlier I said G10 is typically layered? Well, what SureTouch is, is it's taking that and replacing some of those layers with rubber. So this can be done in a couple different ways where some variations you have more G10 than you do rubber. Some is a one-to-one -one alternating. Some are two layers of one and two layers of the other, but it's all the same effect. It's just a slight variation on durability, how grippy it feels, but it's all basically the same stuff. So visually, it looks almost exactly the same as G10. Because it's that layered effect, you can alternate colors, get different colors of rubber. So you can have that like black and red or black and white alternating, or you can do stuff like a camo pattern. Like my personal one here is going to be white and black or um, technically gray and black. Because it's that rubber and G10 alternating and it's that different colors, you can have different color rubber, different color G10, and you can layer it however you want, even doing something like a camouflage pattern. So typically where you find this is on fist blade knives by custom knife makers. It's not a very popular material yet, so you really won't see it very often. So I've seen it occasionally on bushcraft knives, but I've seen some hunting and fishing knives use it as well. And once I start explaining what the advantages are, it's gonna become pretty apparent why it's really popular for that style. So let's go ahead and dive into the advantages of it. Really, it's gonna be just taking the advantages of G10 and the advantages of rubber and combining them, which is basically durable and easy to handle. So a lot of handles that are made from G10 can have a bad habit of becoming kind of slick when they get wet, especially if it's fishing or hunting and it's blood. This is worse if it's a high gloss finish. So if you see that like a really shiny, good looking handle, 
it might be slicker than something that's more matte. Typically, if you're just camping, this isn't really something you need to worry about, unless it's raining out or your hands are just really muddy. But if you are worried about the grippiness of your handle, those layers of rubber in sure touch can really help out. Like, I, I don't know exactly the right word for it, but almost that stickiness that rubber has, sure touch has that just to a lesser degree. Like, it's not super noticeable, but it does make a difference. So I don't think this is necessarily a pro or con, but it doesn't have that give that rubber has. Where rubber almost has a little bit of, I guess, squish to it. This doesn't have this, it's more like G10. Another advantage here is it's one of the most durable materials. You really don't have to worry about it breaking on you. As far as I've seen, I haven't seen any samples of people using it for bushcrafting or anything hard use, and them actually breaking it. It's basically in the same tier as Micarta and G10, as far as I can tell. So basically when you would go with this is if you want something with a little more grippiness than G10, or if you're worried about your knife actually getting wet or bloody, and you still wanna maintain that grip, that's really where I think it shines. Like if I was looking for a new fishing knife, this would be one of my top choices, if not my top choice. So there's not a ton of negatives here, but I do want to cover them. The first is that if you are dead set on sure touch, like you watch this video, read some reviews, and it is the material you want to use, you're going to be really limited in what knife makers you can actually go with. Like I say, it's becoming more popular. A lot of custom knife makers, if you send them an email, they might be able to get like a limited amount of sure touch to help you out, but most of them aren't going to offer it. So the other negative is that it will show wear faster than G10. At least some reports say that. So I haven't really noticed it with mine, but mine is in a leather holster. And I've heard Kydex is where it's worse off. So basically what happens is the G10 won't really wear down, but those layers of rubber, if they're hitting like the hard plastic Kydex, they can start to wear just enough where you'll visually see it but nothing that actually affects the performance of the knife. But if you're buying a really expensive knife and you want it to stay looking nice, this might be a concern. Like I said, it's really missed reviews. I haven't noticed it personally, but I've seen some people talk about it online. If it's a bushcraft or a hunting knife, it's probably gonna get enough wear and tear anyways that you're not super worried about it. I just wanted to bring it up so you weren't caught off guard. So I think that sure touch is going to become more and more popular and will become kind of one of the standard handle materials, especially for the more outdoorsy uses. But if you've used it a lot, let me know down in the comments what you think. That way, if other people watch this video, they can go read the comments and get some more firsthand experience besides my own. Thank you for watching.